Welcome back. America, two days away from the inauguration of our 45th president of the United States. Both sides of the aisle are feeling optimistic about the market under President-elect Trump's administration. 68% of investors anticipate strong returns in the next six months. Now, according to a new UBS Investor Watch report on the revived investor, joining us right now is the president of UBS Americas, Tom Narratil, is joining us in New York. Tom, it's good to see you. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, it's great to be here, Maria. So first, give us a sense of what investors are feeling right now. I mean, obviously, this market is up big time since Election Day, so you can figure it out that, that people must be happy about that. But what's behind it? Well, it certainly is a, a revived investor. I think it's a great, uh, a great way to phrase it. Investors, when they describe how they feel, uh, they're feeling more hopeful, more confident. Sometimes they even use the word uh, relieved. And I think if you put it in contrast to where they were before the election, they were very cautious. You know, we had seen 55% of high net worth and ultra high net worth investors change their portfolio prior to the election by raising cash, about 30% of them, and 25% went to a more conservative asset allocation. So they certainly have the fuel uh, that's available if they were to become optimistic, and they have become more optimistic for a friendlier business environment, uh, improvements in infrastructure. Uh, that they hope to see from the administration and those on the Hill, and also the prospect for lower taxes. Well, that's the thing. I mean, uh, Donald Trump has talked a lot about his economic policies, and that is lowering taxes, uh, rolling back regulation. Do you think that that is going to move the needle in terms of its impact on economic growth? Well, there, there are a few things that are behind that, uh, uh, Maria. First, I, I think we shouldn't forget the Fed in all this. We've moved from a Fed that uh, frightened people, quite frankly, a little bit each, each meeting when they would decide not to raise rates, and, and investors would wonder, well, what do they know that, that I don't know? Uh, and we're, as opposed to having that negative feedback loop, uh, we're starting to get the positive feedback loop, which is the Fed feeling more confident about raising rates and the health of the economy. Uh, second, I also think that um, when you look at uh, business owners and a sub-segment that we actually took a look at in, uh, in our most recent Investor Watch was to focus in on the business owner. And what you see is a huge amount of optimism there, certainly in the form of uh, investment and hiring. 41% of uh, business owners expect to invest more in their business uh, in, uh, in the next year. And if you take a look at the, on the hiring front, which is a significant uh, component of, of future growth, 30% expect to increase their hiring over the course of the next year. Uh, so they're talking about more jobs, and that obviously is going to be positive for economic growth as well. Now, your UBS report is saying that investors' outlook has improved 50% since uh, Trump's uh, presidential victory, Tom. Tell us about that, and do you think people feel that, in fact, we are going to see more opportunities for people? Well, I think what's most interesting about that, that increase in uh, the optimism around the economy is also the fact that investors have positive outlooks for returns in the markets uh, to align with that economic growth. And, and what's quite interesting is that the break that you saw uh, in the investor class between Trump supporters and Clinton supporters prior to the election uh, is certainly beginning to change. And if you look at that, that uplift in optimism, if we take a look at uh, how they feel about the market, those that expect strong returns in the next six months, that's moved from about 25% on average to just shy of 70% uh, in the aggregate. But even if you look at Clinton supporters, where only 9% of them uh, were positive prior to the election, we're up to about 44% uh, at, uh, at this point in time. So that's quite, yeah. uh, quite encouraging. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the findings of this report, Tom. 33% uh, of the people are considering a major purchase, 30% considering taking cash off the sidelines, 41% of small business owners plan to invest more in their business, 30% of small business owners plan to increase hiring. Let me ask you this, Tom. We've already seen a fair amount of uh, gains in this market. Are we at a point now where it's a show-me market? We need to see actual evidence that tax reform is going to take place in the first 100 days and that the rolling back of regulations will take place. What are you telling your clients in terms of putting money into the market today after the move we've seen? So as, as I mentioned, some of those moves that you saw from investors prior to the election certainly put them in a position where 
they drifted away uh, from where they should be on a strategic asset allocation perspective. So they're effectively short. And the fact that 55% of investors are actively looking for investment opportunities tells you that to the extent that we see a pullback in the market, which is certainly at some point uh, inevitable, there is cash available uh, that, uh, that we see investors putting to work. Uh, but, I, but I think you, you made a good point, Maria, about is this a show me market? And uh, if we focus in specifically on what business owners said, uh, it absolutely is. They have a, a very demanding list for the incoming administration and for those on Capitol Hill in the first 100 days. They want to see reductions on health care costs. They want to see increased infrastructure investments. They want to see progress on reducing regulation, lowering taxes, and most importantly, I think for the message to those in D.C., is they want to see an easing of government gridlock. Uh, inaction is not something that's going to make them feel more optimistic. So, so just to be clear, real quick, Tom, based on what you see in your client base, are they more cautious right now or are they bullish? They are uh, optimistically bullish. However, if, uh, if we go back to, uh, to what we saw in the prior uh, eight years in the form of gridlock, uh, they could become disenchanted after those first 100 days. All right, so we're watching what happens uh, in terms of uh, what gets passed. Tom, good to see you. Thanks so much. We appreciate your time. Great to be here, Maria. Thank you. Tom, Tom Naratil is the president of UBS Americas.